Hi everyone, I'm Julian Donahue. I graduated in 2019, spring of 2019, as a dance and political science double major with a double minor in Asian studies and world literature. Currently, I am a ballet dancer with New York Theater Ballet. I also am a co-founder of Collaborative Community Long Island, which is a voting rights, voter education, and voter mobilization organization on the island. So I'm splitting my time between two worlds and COVID has definitely made that more difficult, but more exciting got introduced to my current boss at New York Theatre Ballet through a contact at Hofstra and that was a really great opportunity that Hofstra gave me to talk and work with uh, Diana Beyer at New York Theatre Ballet and it led to a job actually while I was still a senior and so it's just a really good example of how Hofstra connections can lead to future endeavors and future successes. So COVID interrupted our season in the last few weeks. So we didn't get to go on tour. We were supposed to go to North Carolina and upstate New York to the Egg in Albany, which is a really beautiful theater. And the interesting thing about the pandemic is that it created opportunities as well as destroyed, which I recognize as a, an aspect of privilege that I can say that. I think the forced break that we had to take was an opportunity for reflection. And that moment of stillness really gave me the impetus to reflect on my career path. And I was a double major at Hofstra, so it gave me an opportunity to explore my other interest, which was politics. So that's when I founded with another Hofstra alum, Deandra Denton, Collaborative Community Long Island, which focuses on voting rights, particularly in the village of Hempstead. And so that's been really great. I mean, I've been met so many people in the Long Island political scene. The pandemic has really represented a shift in the way we live, but also a shift in the way we think about life, that it's not always going to be 100% in one direction all the time. For students looking to move to the dance industry after graduating, I would say the number one thing is don't get bogged down and don't ever question your self-worth, which sounds so corny, but I think it's really important and in practice is not always obvious. And I think the world will knock you down, especially in COVID times when there's so much change. It's important to realize that we're all adapting and that if you're slow on the uptake or can't find a job right now, that doesn't mean you're a bad dancer and that doesn't mean that dance is not for you. I think no matter what you end up doing, how can you bring that element of artistry, passion, and the reverence for physicality to the profession? If you can figure that out, you will change the world.